Hello my dear students how are you all I hope you all are doing well I welcome you all to our channel Nija Education and please subscribe our channel So today we are going to start a very first chapter of your class 7 maths and which is integers What is integer So integers are a one kind of numbers and as soon as we are hearing this word numbers we are having a visualization of number lines because every number we can represent using the number line so here i have drawn one number line indicating zero all the positive numbers right side all the negative numbers left side so if i start walking on this number line on the right side all i can see is numbers numbers and numbers because this sign shows that it is still extending both the side so let's start to collect this numbers but wait we need a bag to collect this numbers so here i am taking one bag to collect the numbers from the number line yes my bag is ready now so if i start working on the number line from a list counting number 1 i started working on this side right side the first number i collected 2 3 25 505 and so on suddenly i went back to pick 0 now i'm having 0 also now I turn it back and I start collecting some negative numbers also like minus three, minus five, minus two hundred. Now I am having positive numbers, zero, and some of the negative numbers in my bag, and we can call this collection as the integers. So as you can see, integers are nothing but the collection of all the positive number, all the negative number, and zero. all the number we can call as integer now if i start with a list counting number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on that numbers we can call as positive integers as well as natural numbers natural numbers you can denote by n and natural numbers start with 1 2 3 4 and all the positive integer if i am adding zero in this natural number so now i am having zero 1 2 3 and so on so that collection of numbers you can call as whole numbers and which you can denote by w and if i am adding some negative numbers also in this then we are having the collection of integers so what do you mean by integers the collection of all the positive numbers all the negative numbers and zero this is known as integers and you can fix this bag also in your mind with full of positive numbers negative numbers and zero so that it is easy for you to recall what do you mean by integers so now we are going to see how to represent integers on the number line i know you already have learned this topic in your previous classes and might be you all are knowing how to represent the integers on the number line but let's recall that concept and also add some more things in our concept so here i have taken one number line indicating zero always at the center all the positive integers lies on the right side of the zero all the negative integers lies on the left side of the zero so my dear students you need to take care of very few things while you are indicating the any integers on the number line the first thing you should keep in your mind is zero is always at the center whenever you are locating zero it should be at the center if you want to indicate any positive number it should always be indicated on the right side of the zero and you want to indicate any negative number so it should be located on the left side of the zero so these are the three things which you need to keep in mind while locating any integers on the number line so now we are going to see how to ordering and comparing integers so by following some guidelines we are able to do so let's see first one is how to compare the two positive integers or natural numbers this is very easy if two natural numbers are given for example 100 and 20 you all are knowing 100 is greater than 20 second one is 
how to order and compare the numbers when two negative integers are given. So, when two negative integers are given, the smaller integers with negative sign is always greater than other. Many students are having confusion in this part when two negative numbers are given for the comparison. This is very simple, you need to pick the smaller number from that both integers and that will be your greater one with the negative sign. Third one is all the positive integers are always greater than 0. Next one is all the negative integers are always smaller than the 0. And if we want to compare one negative number and one positive number, then positive number will be always greater. Now let us apply this rule on some examples. Here I have listed three examples. First one is I want to compare minus 16 and minus 100. And just now we have studied when two negative numbers are given for the comparison, you need to pick the smaller number from the negative sign which is the smaller minus 16 and that will be your greater number. So, we can conclude that minus 16 is greater than minus 100. Next number given is minus 120 or 20. And we have studied if one negative number and one positive numbers are given, then positive number will be greater than the negative. Here positive is 20. So, 20 is greater than minus 120. And the third and last one is 210 or 0. We have studied that all the positive numbers are always greater than 0. So, here 210 is greater than 0. So, my dear students, I hope now you are having clear idea about how to order and compare integers. You need to fix this some of the point in your mind and then you all are able to do so very easily. So, now we are going to understand what do you mean by absolute value and how to find the absolute value of any integer. So, absolute value is nothing but the value of numerical or the value of integer without its sign. And this is the sign for absolute value. Suppose here I have written absolute value of 7 and absolute value of minus 13. If I want to find the absolute value of this 2, the absolute value of 7 is 7 and the absolute value of minus 13 is 13. So, here as we have seen, if we are going to find the absolute value of any number it can be equal to that number or greater than that number but never less than that right so in general if suppose a is any integer so absolute value of a is equal to a if a is given positive or zero but if a is negative then absolute value of that negative a will be positive so whenever we are going to find the absolute value for any integer it can be either equal to that number or more than that number but never less than that. And in general, if a integer hai aur uski value absolute value dhunni hai, a integer can be positive integer or negative integer. So, if a given integer is positive or 0, then the value of that will be same. But if it is negative, then negative will turn into positive number. So, here one more thing we can conclude the absolute value of anything never can be negative also. So, now we are going to see addition and subtraction using rules. How to add or subtract any integer and for that I have listed here some rules. But before starting this topic particularly I would like to request you please see this part of video very carefully because these things are going to help us in the future. It is very important topic from this video. Addition and subtraction using rules. Here I have listed some rules as you can see. First is to add two positive integers, add them as a whole numbers. If I want to add any two positive integers, we all are knowing how to add the natural numbers and by the same process we can add. Now next thing is how to add two negative integers. If two negative integers are given, then we need to add the two numbers ignoring their minus sign 
एंड इन द रिजल्ट वी नीड टू पुट द माइनस साइन इसका मतलब है कि जब भी हमको टू नेगेटिव इंटीजर एडिशन के लिए दिए गए होते हैं तो हमें क्या करना है उनकी जो माइनस की शाइन है उसको इग्नोर करके दो नंबर का प्लस कर लेना है और आफ्टर रिजल्ट हमको एडिशन में माइनस की साइन लगा देनी नेक्स्ट वन इज टू एड पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव इंटीजर सब द स्मॉलर नंबर फ्रॉम द ग्रेटर एंड फूड साइन ऑफ द ग्रेटर नंबर व्हेन वन पॉजिटिव एंड वन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स आर गिवन फॉर द ऑपरेशन वॉट यू नीड टू डू फर्स्ट यू नीड टू सब द स्मॉलर इंटीजर फ्रॉम द ग्रेटर वन एंड वॉट रिजल्ट वी आर गेटिंग वी नीड टू एड a sign of greater number if greater number is positive then result will be positive if greater number is negative then result will be negative don't worry i will explain this by some of the example let's take one example i need to add 24 plus 20 as you can see this two numbers are positive and they are natural numbers so we can add simply 24 plus 20 is equal to 44 Now let's take another example. Here I have taken two negative integers, minus thirty-two and minus twenty. And just now we have seen to add two negative numbers. What we have to do? We have to add that number and we have to put the minus sign in the result. Let's add this to minus thirty-two plus twenty will be fifty-two. But to the result we need to add. Negative sign. Don't forget to add the sign in the result. Now I'm taking another example. I'm taking twenty plus minus ten. So as you can see here, I have taken one positive integer and one negative integer. Twenty is positive integer and minus ten is negative integer. And if we want to add one positive and one negative integer, so just now we have seen. If they have given you to add one positive integers and one negative integer, then we should perform subtraction. We have to subtract smaller number from the bigger one, and we need to put the sign of bigger number here. Bigger number is positive. Then one thing we can decide our result will be positive. Now let's do subtraction. Twenty minus ten is equal to ten. so my dear student this is very very easy how to perform addition and how to do subtraction of integers now let's see a small recap of this whatever we have seen just now when two positive numbers are given for the operation we need to add them just as a whole number next one is whenever two negative numbers are given for the addition you need to perform the addition and you need to put the minus sign in the result third one is when one negative integer and one positive integer is given then we need to subtract a smaller number from the bigger one and whatever the greater number from the both the number that sign we need to put in the result so this is it this is how you can apply a various rules on the integers by doing that addition and subtraction so just now we have seen how to add and subtract integers and here i'm going to show you a small things which are going to helpful more whenever you are going to add and subtract integers now we can also use this steps to solve addition and subtraction of integers whenever two signs are given in the integers we can turn that both the signs into single signs by applying some rules and here i have listed that if one negative and one positive sign is given then it will be result as negative sign when two negative signs are given together it will be positive signs when one positive and negative sign is given then it will turn into negative same like this order can be changed and whenever two positive signs are given you already know two positive signs will be always turn as a positive now let's see this by one example here i have taken one example minus 2 plus minus 3 so when one positive and one negative sign is given together we can turn this sign into one and positive and negative sign will result always as negative sign so i can rewrite this is minus 2 this positive and negative sign will be negative minus 2 minus Let's see another example. Here it is given five minus minus ten. So here 
both the negative signs are together and both the negative signs will turn into positive whenever it is given together so i can rewrite this is 5 plus 10 so this you have to keep in your mind whenever you are going to perform addition or subtraction of the multiplication because this is going to help you to solve the sums so today i am going to conclude the session over here i hope you all have understood very well we have seen the introduction of integers, how to do addition and subtraction of the integers, how to compare and order the integers. Go through this video very carefully and you all will be able to solve the sums on the basis of this topic. Thank you. We will see you in next class.